In this video, let's talk about creating a ruled surface using perpendicular to vector type. So let's start by creating a ruled surface, selecting perpendicular to vector, and then actually skipping our distance direction and going down and making our edge selection. So unlike the taper to vector option, when we're dealing with a perpendicular to vector option, we need to select a plane reference. In this case, let's select the right plane and take a look at the result. So you'll notice that this is keeping our surface perpendicular to this vector. Now this is very similar to our tapered to vector, but we don't have control over a draft. So this allows you to take a complicated surface, such as this surface that's in 3D space, and create an edge or a border around this surface that is normal to a plane reference. So instead of the right plane, if we selected, let's say the front plane, you notice that this goes a different direction because it's staying normal, or it's gonna, in this case, if you look at this view, we're staying normal to our front plane. If we were to select the top plane, you'll notice that we get something different. It's staying normal to the top plane. Now, obviously that doesn't work for this surface because of the way it ribbons around, but there are several cases where you would need to use this type of surface to create the geometry you needed. 